up, WWE Champions Universe? Welcome to Champions Chat. I can't look at you when I do the intro. I'm cracking up. The fastest growing Sorry. podcast dedicated to the WWE Champions mobile game. I'm Rizar, Rusty Graves, and with me as always, I'm Lee Brown. We are the authors of Pain. What's up, Lee? Occam and Rezar. Did you ever did you ever get the thoughts whenever they first started announcing Occam and Rezar of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yes. 2? Yes. Toka and Rezar? Yes. 100%. Yeah. So I'm Taka and you're I've Rezar. always thought Authors of Pain were basically Bebop and Rocksteady um, before mutating into animals. They were like the human versions of them. It's ironic because Seamus actually played... Bebop uh, or or Rocksteady, I forget which one. So Sheamus is is a, a spoiler alert. Sheamus is coming back to WWE TV. Um, this week on Raw, yeah. there was a what is it called? If it's is it a promo commercial? Like what it's is a that vignette. called? A vignette. Okay, so he had like a, a vignette. You know, production piece where he's talking and it zooms in on his cross, the Celtic warrior, and then it even used the term fight night so so and i was like which seamus are we getting we're getting right this high but the brutes are not a thing and so he's is he gonna wear the cross and the little hat and and like the the wife be like i'm so confused about which seamus will get much in the same way i was confused about which bailey we would get at wrestlemania and so they decided to just make her cleopatra so i (laughs) <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, well, <laughs> we'll have more notes, WWE talk later in the episode. It's a, it's a, today's show notes, we'll get to WWE TV at the end of the show, but we're going to be looking at the authors of April MLC. We are in a new month long contest. We're going to be talking about um, the characters post 99 MP. What happens after the 99 goes away? And we are going to be probably working in a few other categories. I don't want to tell you in the show notes in case we surprise one another with this chat. Uh, And then we'll wrap up with our WrestleMania review. Well, Lee, April is here. It is raining cats and dogs in Charleston. That's how you know April's here. But with it brings a new month-long contest. This week is kickoff week. As you heard earlier in the show, we've got the Authors of Pain this week as our Free MLC character, Occam was the trickster, yeah. and Rezar is the powerhouse. For some reason, these guys are a lot easier to remember than when they first dropped and were like the reskin of like Alberto Del Rio, or was that right? Oh, Enzo. Enzo. They, they, yeah. they re- I could not remember who was who and what their names were, and I had never seen them before i had no idea who they were when they first came into the game because i wasn't watching nxt back then yeah makes sense i think they're awesome like both in game and i like their character now the final testament thing i I mean i think carrying cross is pretty much ruining everything he touches somehow but that's for later that's for wwe tv i like scarlet a lot oh yes Uh, and not just because she's a pretty lady or whatever like genuinely she jumped on bobby lashley and tried to rip his eyes out in a match like that is the kind of luna vachon insanity that's been missing i think from wwe tv um hey lee let me ask you this are you aware do you know this spoiler the authors of pain showed up on nxt this week after the that. tag titles changed hands, so Braun Breaker, Baron Corbin dropped the belts. Uh, uh, I'm assuming because the draft is coming up at the end of May, April, they right. dropped the belts to, I don't remember their name, Axiom and another guy. Uh, and at the end of the show, AOP showed up and destroyed the new NXT tag champs. Nice. Um, I'm assuming this is a setup for them to go on an NXT run. I'm assuming Karrion Cross might be going back to NXT. Um, that wouldn't be a bad thing. Can they just leave Scarlet? Can she just hang out on the main roster? Maybe, maybe hang out with <laughs> Nikki Cross and just do weird stuff on the show or right, something like right. that. 
maybe the reforming right. of women's sanity. How crazy would that be? Anyway, sanity. I'm dream booking again. Um, right. But what are you thinking about this month? We've, we're have we into the month. The kickoff has happened. Mm -hmm. The pace yep. is on. What are you seeing? Yep. I feel like I'm way off pace, but hopefully I'm wrong because like last month was fairly fairly doable fairly quickly to to max in fact i shard recruited um you know sonia and life was great uh this one i feel like i'm a little behind on pace maybe that's not right but it feels that way but i would say um you know it's it's a pretty well copy paste of the best parts of of last month i think they've got the plus 99 system down and what are going to happen there i really love the fact that last month's characters are prominently featured in the loot even if you you know still don't pull them you have a lot more opportunities so like i think you and mm -hmm. i had a a question on our uh show at one point like bray wyatt what if they never put him in the loot again what if he was only one loot and it was the worst loot we've ever seen right. and all this but right. instead like all last month i still didn't get him but mm, the yeah. fact that he was so very available you know at least he was prominent in those loots made me excited that like, oh, maybe I could. And uh, speaking of last yeah. month's MLC, this is the first time I hit all but two of the new characters. Like that, that is a wow. huge- you really cleaned up, huh? Huge thing. Yeah, I miss uh, Jade and I miss CM Punk. So I missed the two big ones, but yeah. but I got the other ones. Um, and that la the last oopsie poopsie that they did, uh, I was able to shard recruit Bubba from. So, mm. you know, that's- that was pretty it's, good. So I think it's the better part of the what they figured out from the MLCs. Like it's yeah. a great format. Were you able to do the premium blitz at the kickoff? No. So and the reason no. I ask is because I'm I think through some chat this morning uh in the Discord. Oh. I, I'm oh go ahead. I was just gonna say no, I No, I did. I did the premium blitz, not the I didn't yeah, yeah. I didn't buy the the upgrade for Occam yet. I've thought about oh, it a couple no, times, no. but yeah, I just no. meant the blitz so the premium, day one, yeah. right? Day one of the MLC yeah. kickoff, there was there was a, a special, you know, right um uh new MLC blitz. There was also yep. a um gosh, a, them a themed blitz and then there was a premium themed blitz um yeah so the pre those they were able to do the premium themed blitz i don't want to say the wrong name but i know it, it's not the normal mlc those right. people seem to have gotten a, an injection of shards uh and tokens for occam to have him up to three star already without right. even buying the kickoff those that did not yep. were not able to do that premium blitz are still hanging yep. at two star in debating okay do i buy the kickoff do i not do i right am i going to get the points another way as of today's recording we're going into april 11th thursday april 11th and the free-to-play community that did not do the premium blitz is hanging around somewhere around 80k mlc points and mm -hmm. unless they get another injection of of you know solo points today this is a four this is only a four week mlc right, right? so we're looking at 125k pace um yep. and they're at 80 uh so yep. so i think i think even what you said is hey i still feel a little behind that i think the numbers reflect that those that okay. did the premium Good. blitz and did if you did the premium blitz but did not buy the kickoff or did not buy the backstage pass, those people yeah. are hanging right at a hundred k, just a hair. At I'm at ninety four, and I yeah. didn't do. I did the premium blitz but did not do the kickoff, so I'm at ninety four. Right. right. Yeah. So, so you see, there's a little of like, wait a second. I I, I noticed this is a one twenty five k pace four month right. or four week. Um, so we're so because we know two things this is where the stress i think is coming in we know one right solo points are not in the weekend contest and we know two right however they worded it basically saying we're taking solo points out of the mid week contest and they were like wait right. a second well then where are they what right <laughs> well then where where are the points <clears throat> I don't right. know how it all came together last month. Do you feel like you have a clear understanding of 
as we, in hindsight, where were the points? Where, where right. were they? So they were on the Monday, Tuesday event. And oftentimes that event goes through the entire week. So the midweek event will run concurrently with the week, the event that started the week. And so you are still working towards those solo points last month. Like I say, it ended up working out very well. I mean, I, I maxed uh, two and a half weeks in three weeks in at the most. Um, so it was very, there were a lot of points. I know some people still didn't and I get right. that, but, um, but you know, we talked about that, like with your fat role, your faction and points and stuff, but, uh, but this, yeah, this one, I feel like I felt going into today. Uh, now I still haven't, uh, completed Ackham's tour and I haven't upgraded him hardly at all. I took him right. to max two star bronze, but I'm still like, okay, if I decide to get the three star or the four star pack then I don't want to waste those tokens, but I do have mm. like almost a thousand uh, Evo tokens for him. So right. I should be able to take him three star right away. It's just a matter of, okay, do I want to, you know, get the four star pack and then I'd have, you know, or do I get that or, you know, whatever it is. So. Sure. sure. And I, so <laughs> I, I'm, I often refer to myself as the one who, um, you know, basically Lee's the smart one, you know, Lee's the content, re really Lee is the content creator and I am the content enhancer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just make it a little more fun. Like Lee, Lee educates <laughs> us and I entertain us. That's kind of our role <laughs> in the show. If you've ever, I mean, if you watch closely, you know, I'm usually asking the questions. He's usually answering the questions. And if I ever have an answer, it's like a Oh, 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 let me hold it over oh, Lee's head that I know, I know something he doesn't know. Um, so I cannot tell you where the points came from last month, but they were there. And not only were yeah. they there for me, um, who I would say I'm a, I may, and now I may spend, I spend cautiously, I would guess I should say. I spend strategically. Yeah. And I try not to overspend, but I'm a spender, and there are times yeah. where I splurge. Um, there, but we saw the free to play community finish and max if they played the month, if they were right. grinding, if they were using and gathering points at every checkpoint they could, right? They could right. not take a week off. They had to play all five weeks and play hard. And um, I don't think it came down to the wire for too many that engaged right. in the full month's worth of play. We kind of tracked in our faction. Here's where the free to play guys are. Here's where the spenders are. So this gives us kind of a curve, right? And if right. you're on the curve, you're safe. If you're not, if you're below the curve, you got to work to find those points. Um, right. Yeah, yeah. So not to sound the alarm, but I'm hoping we see where the points are today um, on some level. I'm hoping we see yeah. more, more um, revealing of the points <laughs> or the free to play yeah. community is going to be behind about 25K, right? Week yeah. one, we're going to be playing from a deficit. Um, well, we know Zombie Week uh, twice two zombie midweek events are coming. So maybe Incredible. they'll put the points there. Incredible. Hey, and if they do, like, that's probably the best possible scenario. Like, because you don't want to yeah. go into zombie week comfortable and not ready to play hard. That's probably the wrong right. week to go casual or to, right. you know, um, because the payout is usually enticing. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you like it's incentivizing to go hard during the zombie contest. Um, I'm hoping, what are you hoping for out of zombie? I'm hoping for some zombie Cody gear that's uh -huh. going to boost his MP. He's he's too high of a charge for MP. If if it was even a dual like um maybe three to four MP loaded and yeah. And um, maybe Blast Gems do another whatever percent would be tremendous, I think, for Zombie Cody. Yeah, B bump yeah. up his Blast Gem damage and and lower his MP cost. And uh, right, and he might be as good as Rich Holland someday. 
<laughs> he, I like him more than Rich Holland, but uh, I mean, he's more versatile than Rich, but he's not uh, necessarily more powerful yet. So, right, um, right, yeah. I mean, he's uh, not powerhouse brawn chase by any means, right. but yeah, I agree. I would love, and I think there's a precedent for uh the chase character getting the spring outbreak gear i mean zombie bobby did you know you've got one for zombie ray you've got you know etc so i think that that is the way that it'll go um i, I still hope. need ray you still need ray i still I need do. raid's gear i just don't need, need ray gear. i just need ray period um <laughs> all of the good ray mysterios i have not no well, that's right yeah because you missed hall of fame as well huh yeah. yeah, I missed Hall of Fame. I missed the Modu, um, the the purple gym. Uh, they'll probably never get him. They'll probably never be offered again. Um, uh, so you got to do something with that. But well, who knows? Who knows? But yeah, my biggest hope is I need two hundred shards for Zombie Sammy, and I'll recruit him. Ooh. So I'm I'm that's that's what I am watching for. That is my if I do nothing else this month, but I recruit Zombie Sammy. I'm good. Uh, but I would love there to be gear. I would love there. Or the to be last ride gear. plate could come back around. That would be super good. Or if I could get like four more sheriff badges, that'd be super good. Because four more <laughs> sheriff right, badges but works everybody. On everybody, man. Like sheriff yeah. badge on Trickster Bubba Ray, Sheriff Badge right. on Butch, Sheriff Badge on right. um Sonia Deville, Sheriff Badge on yep. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> KO. Cody just keeps right. it's raining. Who you got? Just keep yeah. it coming. Give me more. Yeah. Anybody that makes red, and that's a lot. Period. Um, does really well with it. But I, right. I don't have the last ride plate, and I, I regret do. it. It's I good. took that stupid um heart stopper plate, and I don't even have it on a per. It's sitting in my inventory. I have never used it. Rusty, never. put it on D'Lo. I don't have Put it on Acro Bianca. I don't have Acro Put Bianca. Put it on. I I don't. La Knight. I don't have La Knight. I don't have any of the people. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Same thing with this this recent um the recent plate uh, coins that we got from the faction event. I took the um I took the Gremlins ears. I don't have anybody for the Gremlins ears. The same way. It's like oh, smart. If I, I get somebody that makes too. blue, if I get some blue going on, I'm going to be doing good things. But for now, I have not the blue. <laughs> so. so you're saying uh, acro is your weak spot. Gotcha. Well, I have acros, just not ones that do blue, like I, like Wes Lee, right? Or Logan right. Paul. Like they, those guys don't spam blue. They just don't do it. Um, right. And then some, <laughs> most of my best acro ladies don't do it either. You know, heavy metal Rhea. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. I'm yeah. a dummy. Yeah, I'm a dummy's you. dummy. No, I took the Gremlin ears as well. I, I also have the heart stopper plate. Of course, I have people that those work on. But you'll get there. You'll get there. It's like the Piper plate scenario. You take the Piper plate, you'll get somebody that it works on, I promise. I just, so. I think sometimes I shop ambitiously when there's things I'm like, oh, I'll have him soon enough, right? And then I get something, right. and it's like, I don't know. It's just going to sit there. Do, do, do. Right. Can we just talk for a moment? Speaking of shopping ambitiously, I am a very big, um, what was Ken Blanchard's book? Raving fan. I am a raving yeah. fan about the Showdown Shop makeover. And now there Man. are, mo I bought a moment day one, of the showdown shop um, makeover. I think it was 125 showdown shop coins. And I got the damage uh, control. K. Yeah. I think it was Bailey joins damage control or whatever that moment was. It wasn't a particularly, you know, overpowered moment, but like nonetheless, moments went from very hard to attain to like reasonably attainable like overnight yeah. yep i'm a very big fan of the showdown shop update although i have almost everything that they put into it so what? it's not exciting for me um mm. i'm missing a couple of the moments like the superheroes one and the damage control one 
but like here's a good example and and i get why other people feel upset about these things i'm not but it took me forever and i finally used one of the last big events to get the cody returns wrestlemania oh, 38 yeah. you know blah 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 and then it was the in my thing the first day where i could have just grabbed it so i was like yeah ah, i could have just i could have just got there but the best in my but, opinion that's the best moment that's the best moment for my roster at least i don't have anybody it works on <laughs> oh no <laughs> i mean i've got everybody in that thing except for one i don't have ko and ko and that's, it, it really makes me. kevin owens so, like outrageous right. hey let me ask you yeah. this if most of my moments are level 25 the yeah. one exception i have is i have a level the level 30 evolution moment just because i've really been building up my female roster Right. So is it like, should I be focusing on talent up to get my moments to level 30? Should that be, um, should that overhaul my talent up plans? Let's, and let's take the Cody moment. Right. For, for example, right. If I look yeah. at Cody moment, um, WrestleMania 38 night one return to the American nightmare, and I can see who's in it. And if I go to evolve, I need to have six superstars at six star bronze i've got four of the six superstars at six star bronze so i need two more okay. six star evos it's level 25 but it makes my best arguably my best superstar on my roster better in feud which is kevin owens relentless it'll give him i can't see the the boost that it gives but already i'm seeing that it gives uh, you know, um, um, where is it? Moves it. You can see. You just hit max. What? Go to the not the evolve screen, but the the main screen of it, and hit the little green max button, and it'll show you what it'll be when you max it. Oh, dang. All right. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> matching all. Co so what it basically will do is matching all color gems charge moves to that color by, um one more mp that's the one nice. it'll really help with uh and it'll give feud feud um his gym damage will go up to 50 percent from 39 percent. so to raise his gym damage uh it won't increase more traps which is what i originally thought um multiply gems generate from moves will increase their strength by six but i i don't see a multiply maybe baron Cor happy corbin um, i don't really like happy corbin yeah. and feud but yeah uh, he's fine i mean with gear especially but but to the answer of the question yes if you have a moment that is worthwhile for your best characters so for example the talent up video that i just put out for us yesterday i took mr t striker mr t up to yeah. six star so that i could get the ali wrestlemania one moment to level 30 and so while i may never touch mr t and it screwed over my striker evolves uh pretty significantly it allowed everybody else who's on that moment which is both ali's that i have hogan and a few others to be bob backland or uh no bob orton sorry uh bob backland would be fun to have in the game the chicken wing it's the chicken wing um uh, but anyway yeah it, it made them super more overpowered and so 100 okay. percent. i don't care that i wasted a bunch of tokens on mr t the right. answer is i got the moment where i wanted it to be and that rhymes so it's i gotta bring up yeah i gotta bring up uh some some a few people for that moment to do more i didn't know you could click max that's really helpful <laughs> yeah you learn something every day I, I do. That's why we started this podcast was to uh, basically this is a tutorial for me uh, and we just record it and let everyone else uh, get something out of it. OK, let's uh, turn a corner here. Um, Rock and Roman was a beneficiary of the plus ninety nine. My um, one of my favorite superstars to use over the last two months. Right. Now the plus ninety nine MP is gone. Yep. What do I do it's with my gone. life? What do I do? What do, you do <laughs> well, I'll I'll tell you. So the extreme rules tours that dropped. One of the requirements was beat 
blah, 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 you know, triple threat match on hard with any Roman. And Rock and Roman is by far my best Roman Reigns. I mean, yeah. uh, head of the table has not scaled well. No. He was great when he first came out. Now, but I mean, that fell off quick. Um, so for Rock and Roman, much I like really actual like the... Roman Reigns, he's now just moderately annoying and takes way too long in his uh, intro. <laughs> Well, he's going to be gone for a while again. So there you go. But uh, no, in in all but, seriousness, you know, thoughts and prayers with Roman Reigns. Uh, uh, I've right. heard he's his um, leukemia is um, resurfaced, and so in all seriousness, yeah, yeah we we, right. we love Roman. We want him to get better quick. Joe on Hawaii, um, yeah. <laughs> so rock and Roman. So I used the move, uh, the red and blue combination that buffs the the, the move damage. And with 99 MP, he was easily doing 10 million per cycle, which yeah. isn't great, but that's fine. That's very usable. Uh, I had to swap out one of my big trainers for MP because otherwise he just can't start loaded anytime right. soon. Right. And so he did uh, 4 million. That, that was it. I was like 4 million, six star bronze, yeah. 4 million, which is a tickle nowadays in the game. Right. I ran into I was, the I was same... having a tickle fight with Roman Reigns against uh, uh, Dawkins. So, you know. <laughs> as entertaining Boss. as that sounds, I ran into the same scenario and was very frustrated with how underwhelming my one of my best, one of my, you know, YOLO to the moon plus 99 MP deceived me. And, right. and so I just worked him up thinking, wow, this guy's insane. He's so good. Right. Um, right. Now I'm going, what did I, what have I done? What have what I, I done do with my life? Um, I mean, some people, yeah. are, some people are feeling the same way about heavy metal Rhea. Um, now, mm -hmm she's being contested as to her her viability where last month she was maybe the best female because of what you could do um with her and how fast you could do it and now yeah. you're going oh gosh adding in these mp trainers is like <laughs> really cutting into my extreme damage um, That's right. She won't hit as hard. She's going to hit hard still, though. I agreed. mean, I agree. I, I, yeah. So this is why we started, uh, why you started, why you came up with the idea of the power ratings, because we need to be able to rate these characters, what they will be after the plus 99 uh, and see where do they fit on a roster? Because I could have told you, you know, I, we've mentioned Rock and Roman a few times and I was very happy to get him. I, I had to. Yeah. scrounge and showdown shop and all sorts of stuff to even get him. And I, I think he has a great place on my roster, but I mean, I could tell you even at 10 million with the move damage that, you know, our, we, our, our chart on the power ratings is, is 30 million is where you get to start of top end damage. Right. Um, and he was nowhere near that. So I knew, uh, I know the A tier moniker on there isn't a true, like, Oh, this is, actually how good they are which is why the power rating is so important however uh he was a very a tier character and i could see okay this character is not going to last into the six star gold meta and now we're seeing like he maybe had his moment to shine in the plus 99 mp i wish you would have warned me i wish you would have said hey friend times. approach with caution Roman, <laughs> I think it's almost like, um, okay, like when you fly and they kind of flag you and put you on a list, like right. a watch list, I think oh, we wow. need to have a watch list because um, the community does not need to feel um, disappointed with how hard they right. go in a contest, how much right. they spend in a contest, and then be walking on sunshine for two months and then go what have i done oh, do you remember remember oh, arrested oh, development i've made a huge oh, mistake right <laughs> classic joe bluth line i've made a huge mistake 
<laughs> right. Oh my goodness. So, so well, that's that's kind of what the function of our power rating system does. Is like, yeah. you know, you saw CM Punk is a twenty one out of twenty five. Like he's going to survive the plus ninety nine MP. Ali, we talked about the fact that his move damage is great now. It's going to struggle later. We believe. Does he need uh, to watch listed? We, I don't know. I, th- I mean, we'll have to see. But I would say, like with Roman, if we had done a power rating there. I bet he would have ended up in the 15 to 18 range. We could, we could still do and it. I mean, we've got the matrix to can't. backfill some of these oh, yeah. um, people. I think we should. It just takes a yeah. lot. Like, we got three it, we have to do this Friday yeah, alone. It's re- it takes three. a really long time. It's really boring, actually. Our content's really boring now. It is so not. You it probably not should boring. watch. We're getting confused. We're Davey getting confused. D. David D. at least has wow. masks and, and a cool accent and – um we've got none of that we don't have accents we don't have masks what do we even have i'm sitting in my garage there's a plain white wall here and my voice is just vanilla as it gets you know i um... hey to to people who are overseas viewers of which we have many uh, according to analytics we do have accents okay yeah, we have exotic true. American accents. To our viewers, Actually, they'd probably call us smudge. To our smudge viewers in American India, we accent. say thank you. Smudge. We say thank you to our global audience in Dubai and Sri Lanka and Singapore and all of the places that um, I know you're faithfully watching and tuning in. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Australia. That's right. Australia. Uh, okay, before Rusty breaks into so other characters with the plus French Canada, MP. we're huge in French Canada. Did you know that in Quebec? Because you keep making fun. Our of largest the... viewership is in French Canada. That's not true by percentage. <laughs> it's in America, but anyway, uh, other you know like Bray Wyatt, I think is going to survive plus or did survive plus ninety nine MP just fine. Um, but that know. is something we have to start having conversation around. Is like, hey, where is this character going to be plus ninety nine MP? And that's why, like, even in yeah. our our break it downs and things like that, uh, you know, I try to take account for what is this going to look like with without plus you know our our three minute move sets in particular. I never let that just, I try, I, I've been trying not to let that sit as a, oh, here's what they are with plus 99 MP. I always put the MP trainer on there because you want to see it not just right away, but you want to see it later. And I think you would, uh, most people would rather see it hit lower and then be like, ooh, I can do better than see it hit all this massive amount and be like, well, yeah, but that's only going to last for a month. So yeah, what's it I, matter? I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> This is, this is, you know, uh, PG-13, um, but I, I think the plus 99 and P is basically like your beer goggles. You know, everyone looks a little better um, and and <laughs> just a little more attractive, wow. right? And uh, I, think, I think that's what it's done to me. It's caused me mm. to be very optimistic about... And again, I mean, we'll just beat this drum. Rock and Roman. Just right. I would have said at one point, this is my best powerhouse. Man, he's just wow. a turn one killer. Wow. Right. So then you're like, wow. no, actually, but it's just um, he's actually an acro specialist, is right. more a more of a realistic synopsis of what yeah. he does. Triple green, right? Acro eliminator and does some really unique things um right. is he my best powerhouse no um ko relentless not even using the red move or a titan plate ko relentless with just yellow and purple in the in the trap moves um is better you know yeah. and that's a card that's or that's a poster that's a year old oh, yeah at least it's Maybe. almost two, two years. It might have been two years old because it was uh, 316 day that was the month we were chasing him. And I don't think it was last 316. Right. Maybe it might have been. But back to the showdown shop conversation, that was my big disappointment when they announced all these chase characters were going to be in there. I was like, yes, uh, I have every single one of the ones that's in the in the list. So I'm like, well, so but, we need a broader shard size. S tier shards. So if mm-hmm. you're in my position, 
what you need to be thinking is not dang it i there's no shards for ko it's ooh there's s tier shards that's that's mm. the focus i would not have thought of that that's why you are three-fourths of this show um <laughs> What's with no, the self talk, really Rusty? What's that? What's with the self talk today? Oh, just you know, there comes a time where every man needs to look in the mirror and realize he is what he is. You know. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, are is there anybody else that you think just got a big uh, downgrade losing the ninety nine? I mean, I don't. You know. I don't, yeah. I think we need to play with some of them because Rhea, I'm convinced, will still be probably my best lady feuder. Uh, I, okay. I'm very convinced because she was hitting like astronomical damage. She's going to hit, instead of hitting the stars, she's going to hit the moon, so to speak now, but she's still hitting the moon, uh, I believe. I mean, again, I have, we haven't had a lady feud uh, since she dropped the 99 MP, so I'll check right. back with you once that happens. But just thinking through them, uh, you know, the ones that just lost, of course, are are the uh, the ones that were uh, the, the legends, and the weird legends era. Yeah, right. seventh anniversary. So like I used Shinsuke, my Shinsuke uh, trickster was absolutely a destroyer and he still is, but definitely took a hit needing that plus 99 right. or that MP because I can't start him loaded turn one now. I, I think have he's to, back. So I have to start him turn two. I would say. During that month, our friend Marix, he he said, I think Shinsuke is the worst of the superstars this month. I, I actually think Shinsuke is going to hold value longer than Roman. Marix doesn't have the last ride plate like I do. He gets oh, insane. Yeah, I don't either. But that, and that's where I'm thinking, like, Shinsuke can do something, or do several things really well. And yeah. with normal trainers, okay. Yep. So. Agreed. He recycles. I, I'm I'm just but so he's, I'm he's so now high very on leech much gems. slower. Yeah, so he's very much slower. I'm high on so leech that's gems, gonna be it. and that's where I think a leech gem superstar will always hold, at least for me, a little more value. Oh, as go. things change because of the right. because of the health steal on top of the damage. So right. so you're seeing a swing of health. Yeah. So like. Yeah. to me that's like double positive so i love right. it yeah and i think uh the one that i most want to power rate uh for the after the plus 99 and of course he's still got it for this month is uh the new stone cold i think he is going to hold up exactly the same uh oh. as he as he did without okay. now maybe a little bit less damage but but that that triple red especially now his move set uh the the move damage set will will decrease over time. Uh, but his triple red that I'm starting to use more now, uh, I think is going to hold amazingly well. Um, CM Punk will will hold up extremely well. I think Jade will hold up okay. I'm curious on the Dudleys. I think uh, both of the Dudleys are going to be, like we said, the specialists. Like they're going to be the ones you use against their special type. And but that's what the way I'm using Devon anyway. I'm I'm really putting him in against right. showboats. Um yep. so that won't change that. Do we have um, a full cycle of those yet? Do we have a full cycle of of category or class killers? Because if we have yeah. if Roman is an acro killer, right? And if yeah. um uh Devon is a showboat killer, and then what Bubba is the tech several tech killer. killers bob orton's a powerhouse i mean there's yeah there's just so many now like literally so many oh, at this point L Ki i would say ludwig um kaiser yep. ludwig ludwig kaiser is a, a powerhouse just smokes him too um yeah because of what he can do there hmm. yeah yeah we've got a pretty i mean i think going into feuds and stuff now you really have to be i mean like we've said it before but more than ever you really have to be aware of who is fighting who. Uh, class advantage really, really matters. And so, like, if I go up against yeah. a Rock and Roman and I'm an acrobat, if he gets his stun move on me, well, guess what? I'm gonna either sit there or I'm gonna force. I'm gonna force close the game. Is what I'm gonna do. Uh, so, yeah. same feels true about this um, sub reversal. If you don't know that's yeah. coming, and you, <laughs> Ali and Bray, yeah. Woo. If you've got triple sub. Um, Cody, and you're excited to do some submission locks. 
and you run into that yeah. lineup, you are rest in peace, my friend. Undertaker style. Right. He's gonna put you under quick. So, right. Mm. Yep. Yeah. I think the well, meta has shifted to that. So yeah, and I was hoping, I think the the fan voting poll, it was like, what's your favorite kind of damage? I, I thought sub damage won that poll. And since yeah. the results, um, we've seen the total, <laughs> I don't know what you'd Total call it. reversal of sub the, damage. Yeah, yeah, slowly choking submission out, subbing it out of the, of the meta. So yeah, and yeah. Becky does it too, doesn't she? Uh, doesn't Becky? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I didn't get her. So tech, new yeah, tech either. Becky, bodacious yeah, Becky. I yeah, I don't have her either. Uh, I heard she's good. Yeah. Mm. She also should power rating wise. She won't. She won't last it to into six star gold. So she's Have another us, one that we should go back and look at. Let me say this: you've heard us talk about the power ratings a few times now. Um, these documents are starting to circulate around the community, and we're doing them live on Twitch on Friday nights on our show uh, on the WWE Champions main channel. And we'd love for you to be part of that because the power ratings are an objective matrix that we can evaluate superstars through with data. It's no longer subjective or opinion-based, but the community gets to chime in and share their opinion as we rate these together. It's a lot of fun. Not only is it a lot of fun, it takes some thought. You actually have to do some thinking. Yeah. And so while I'm there cracking jokes and drinking prime, you can put on your thinking cap <laughs> about who actually does what in the game. Who are we going to be yeah. power rating this Friday night, Lee? Well, I would say we probably will start with Akam and whoever the weekend character is and then work our way towards the chase Razar because we have some time, you know, before people are going to start getting Razar. And if we can get to three this weekend, that would be pretty impressive. We did two last week. Of course, we're also going to start getting better at these. I mean, those were our first two. So you notice the video for Ali was 45 minutes. The video for Punk was like 20. You know, like we, yeah. we were able to too long. speed that up pretty <laughs> quick. So, um, but I think that this is a system that people have wanted. Now you can argue, oh, it should have been this, should have been that. I mean, this is very community driven. Rusty, you know, presented it. I workshopped it. We workshopped it together. Then we had some other people involved. And then after Friday, yeah. we had multiple people say, have you thought about this? Have you thought like, for example, right. uh, one great Facebook comment was, well, if you're just using the S tier in game rating, then blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, no, no. Like, the point scales are individualized. And so mm -hmm. you'll see like in feud, this character is S tier, but in maybe speed there, you know, whatever. And he was like, well, then you should probably take off the C tier to S plus tier because it's confusing people that you're just going with what they're doing in the game. And I was like, oh, okay. So mm -hmm. that might be a, either we have to explain that or we just take out, you know, it was nice and easy because it's five point spread C tier to S tier, S plus tier. But yeah. Maybe for the sake of the community, we draw. So we've been getting a lot of feedback of here's how we refine this. Uh, but I think it's very useful. And I think being able right. to look at, hey, Ali's a 20 out of 25. CM Punk is a 21 out of 25. I can tell you, uh, Occam and Razor both are going to, uh, Occam in particular is going to be lower. Great power, but his speed is very slow. So uh, he's not going to be max speed, which means he's not going to be max on feud. Which means and this you know, is our so first like, free superstar to review. Right. So that's he's so really that's good interesting too. But yeah. he'll be lower. I yeah. thought Occam. I could be way off, but I thought Occam, on some level, was a copy paste of um, Goat Ali with a reduction of power. But I haven't. I didn't mm. do the preview like you did. But I just thought, right. oh, okay, black and purple. He's doing leech. He's hitting big. That reminds me of the guy I just got in the contest last month. Um, so, right. yeah, maybe they only have that in common. Hey, do you have a prediction for who this weekend's superstar is going to be? If I'm looking at the faction feud template as an indicator right. of who it might be, I can tell you, number one, it's, it's going to be a male. Though. It's gonna be a male, yeah. right? Because it's a male feud. What right. and what what makes you say powerhouse? Because the old trimmings are red, right? I, I haven't looked at it in a while, but oh, yeah, it is. Well, that's all what the I, trimmings and visuals are red. Like the game, this 
Yeah, yeah, the screen stuff. Interesting. It's, so if that's a red screen, you think it'll be a red superstar? It's my guess. That's not that's not guaranteed, but I think it's a powerhouse male. Um, and as we look at, isn't there a way to look at the prizes and see you look at the contest that's tied for that week but i haven't seen you know if they named it a certain thing yeah, i then... haven't i don't see a name i don't see a sneaky right. sometimes there will be a little um like if you look at the coin that right. maybe it's gonna have or a contest so i don't see any fancy giveaways or tips there it just says weekend debut faction contest point so they're getting better right. about hiding it um, if we look at the line requirements, we see middle line is Goldberg, the streaker bottom is a hall of famer and a WCW and a powerhouse. Do yep. you think this could be a hall of fame WCW superstar? Like that would fit into a powerhouse meta, meta? potentially yeah. Lex Luger. Like oh, would that would that be the powerhouse Lex? I don't know. Maybe it's. Oh. I, that's where I'm just thinking is like who's oh, no. WCW, right? Who's potentially who's powerhouse, not NWO, right? So who right. would be maybe on the good guy side? Um, what if it's a new powerhouse Goldberg? Ooh. ooh another Goldberg in the game and just keep, you could have two strikers, two powerhouses and that's it. Cause Goldberg legitimately didn't have other. Is there a powerhouse <laughs> Kevin know. Nash already? Yes. Big sexy. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. But so. there's not a good, I mean, arguably hall of fame, Kevin Nash, but there's not a good Kevin Nash really. There's not a, uh, you know, I don't know. That is a good, I, yeah, I didn't piece all those together. I was thinking powerhouse. I wasn't thinking WCW, but definitely. I mean, you have Goldberg, like we, um, you have a WCW it, requirement Goldberg. and you have a hall of fame requirement. It, right. Does the math, is that a hint you think? Steiner or is it math? Yeah. Right. Um, it, it's probably not a Steiner. We have a, the, the powerhouse Steiner. We have powerhouse Steiners. Yeah. Both of them. Powerhouse I Rick don't Gans know. Scott. That'd be interesting. What about, Oh, Oh, Oh. What can't if, be it can't be the mask. What if it's Sid? Man, what if it's Sid? That would be super cool. Because there's a really or the Shockmaster would be great too. Shockmaster would equally yes, be please. great. <laughs> Come on, Fred Ottman. Come on. Oh my all oh my shockamaniacs out there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it'd be Vader. Um, I don't I, I think Sid. That's gonna be my guess. My Psycho guess is Sid or uh yeah, Sid Psycho actually Sid, Sid Vicious. Would have been Sid vicious WCW yeah. name or you know four horsemen Sid or oh. you know oh what if it's oh never mind <laughs> I've said somebody in another company forget that whoops so here's the thing about the other company let me just let me just pick your brain about this okay we know Elias is no longer with the WWE we right. know that I watch him on TikTok fairly regularly. He's doing well. He's leading, you know, uh, anyway. And yet he's, he was the CSS in, in the premium feud and in um, the stream yeah. rules match. Right. And so then I'm going, is he resigning? Is like, is Elias like coming back? And I just Ooh. don't know it. Is this a, know, is this a old. teaser of the draft? Ooh. Is he going to be a sleeper pick? You know, like um, Ezekiel. Or <laughs> you know, I mean, like I don't know. That's where I was like, what in the world? Because typically, Scopely does a good job about keeping people out of the game that are out of the company, right? They well, they do a true. pretty good job of that, don't they? For the most, I may usually, but I mean, it has happened before. And I would just say real quick before I forget it. I laughed audibly when it said Elias required when I went into the thing. And then the first option, because my highest uh, talent, Elias, is not Elias. So right. like Elias required, not Elias. Well, come on. But uh, yeah, yeah. I So like with the reworks, you know, we have 25 out of the 27 three-minute move sets coming out over the next few days, week, That's weeks. That's insane. Um, and good job on two that, of by them the way. are Dolph Ziggler. Thank you. <laughs> two of them are Dolph Ziggler. 
Um, and he's not with the company anymore. He's yeah, right. actually a champion for another company. But mm. I, I was like, well, I'm not supposed to talk about people who aren't in the other company. Well, but you did rework them. So I made here, the video. So, so well, let me ask you this. Is this part of the new era? You've heard that term oh, infinite times. Door is open. Yes, that's that's actually someone yeah. on WWE TV said the phrase specifically this week yeah. or last week. Um, the Paul Levesque era. Um, maybe yeah. they even said, but they and then they said, perhaps the door is not so forbidden anymore. Like they they alluded oh. to that. And I was like, what does that mean? What does that mean? And and of course, we've seen um, other companies' champions show up in right. the Women's Royal Rumble this right. year, right? I mean, that's that's about as forbidden door as, as it could ever be when you bring the gold yeah. from another company. That's the reason the Montreal screw job happened was to prevent that. <laughs> prevent right. Red Hart from showing up on Nitro with, yep. with the title, you know? Um yep. I don't I don't know what I don't know how to interpret whatever this new reality is. It's like all all the rules that used to exist don't exist anymore. And now they're dreaming big. And now their creative licenses are just people are signing legends deals. People are coming back. Right. People are interested and in, that left the company years ago, mad. Now they want to come back. And is it too right. late? And are, has it passed them by? And right. this is a wild time to be a wrestling fan. This is a wild it, time. It is. It is. So let's go there. Uh, so WrestleMania very clearly from the Hall of Fame speech, Paul Heyman came yeah. out and sunk the old era, let's just say, which I thought was pretty interesting because he was the guy to I don't do know it if too. Oh yeah, yeah. He was the guy to do it. Yeah. But he flat out said this sports entertain ha ha, forget that. Yeah. Professional right. wrestling. That was and a was flag like, in the ground moment ooh. of we are reclaiming what yep. this actually is. We are reclaiming yep. it. Yeah. Yeah, I think so yeah. too. That was a real yeah. what they say a shot across the bow. Um, right. I can't imagine anybody that used to work in the company was watching that. I can't imagine that they would how they actually felt. <laughs> The, the, no, just that they would even turn it on. I can't imagine. Oh, interesting. And if it was, oh, to be a fly on that wall. Could you imagine right. to be in that yeah. penthouse as a fly on the right. wall that night? The, the fly on the wall with a giant hole in it as a chair flies through it. Right. Or, yeah. How I mean, funny yeah, was it I mean, when Heyman he told right Lebeck uh, that Stephanie married the wrong Paul? The that. wrong Paul. <laughs> Oh my goodness! His whole Heyman's whole Hall of Fame speech was yeah. was incredible. I mean, incredible. it just we could do a whole episode on that. Incredible, yeah. and he's earned the so right good. to say it. He's taken yep. it on the chin like a champ for decades, and now <laughs> the gloves were off. Right, he got to say he got to speak his piece, and he was right. handpicked by his new boss to be the. Yep. The Hall first. of Fame headliner, you know. So, so I have to believe yeah. that was intentional. I mean, I just have oh, to. Oh, absolutely. I have. I mean, absolutely. And, and to start the show to be the marquee name and go on first, right. that's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Like that's not the way. Like Pearl Jam doesn't come out first, you know, and and open <laughs> for uh, whatever flavor of the week band that they brought on tour with them. You know, I just right. this is like, whoa, the headliner's out up first. That's wild. Yeah, it was. It was very wild. And then to follow it up, uh, I think hey, we, we could talk about the wrestling in a moment, but night one, Triple H introduced, Paul Levesque introduced Welcome to WrestleMania very clearly, very clearly made his mark. Uh, they did the national anthem instead of America the Beautiful because famously the previous booker oh. did not like 
the national anthem, so would not allow it to be played. I didn't only catch allowed that. America That's a good the beautiful. Catch. Wow. Yeah, both nights. And then uh Stephanie coming out night two. That was the oh, oh, this is a thing. This is something different because that is her in fairness, aligning herself with her husband and the vision that's coming forward, like literally welcome to the Paul Levesque era. I've always loved Stephanie. I've always loved Stephanie. Um, Much in the same way, I've always liked Ivanka Trump as the daughter, uh, like on The Celebrity Apprentice. Let's put it in context. She was the reason I used to watch The Celebrity Apprentice was because of Ivanka. There was a time in wrestling where Stephanie was and still is i think when she speaks you better listen because it's going to be very significant she only announces the big stuff she doesn't do small appearances she doesn't come out for no reason she's not arm candy to triple h she when she comes out she's coming out as an authoritative voice right of the future and and to define the present always that's the only time yep. she speaks is when it's worth and it. So she threw her weight hard behind yeah. this is the Paul Levesque era. And then they did it again. And then Monday night, you know, we talk about the raw after WrestleMania, they did it again. And then to, to point to Cody spoilers, if you haven't seen WrestleMania or, or raw, oh, we're and so say, past this the is the guy of spoilers. Like this now, is the guy who's like two weeks ago. If you haven't right. seen mania yet. You better <laughs> come out of that coma, <laughs> turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> all yeah. right rick grimes there <laughs> yeah oh wow. i know i mean mania was like we were we were live chatting in discord right. i mean it was like all like when it comes time for mania you can't say i'm watching on delay unless right. you turn off your phone and refuse to look at it because you will That's get it will be spoiled everything yep. will be spoiled <laughs> so so I had to do that because it was my son's birthday party on oh, Friday happy birthday, or Saturday. Buddy. And so That's great. Oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah. Uh so I watched it later in the night. So I I literally turned on I don't use focus ever, but I turned on the focus. Right. Do not disturb. Yeah, don't show me to. anything. I don't want to see to. it. Um, okay, so night one versus night two. We can get into individualized stuff, but just overall, uh, how would you rate night one? How would you rate night two of WrestleMania? Night one. Okay, so anytime there's an outdoor event and it's still daylight, it's lame. Yeah. Night yeah. one felt like it could have been an all daylight show. Right. The mat- match one started, it was still daylight. The Becky yep. Becky Rhea intro deserved the dark. They Darkness. deserved full production behind yeah. it. It's weird them coming out when the sun's out and you don't see the production lights, it just has a, almost like that same corny Caesar's palace WrestleMania feel of where you're just like, Oh, this is not, this is not meant to be done outdoors under the cover of the sun. Like this needs to be, (laughs) this is a show. This is a spectacle. This is a production. This is the biggest, the biggest night of the biggest show. Yeah, I so day day one. Now Triple H said it well. Night one set the table for everything that right. would happen. Night two, so I guess you right. had to have it. But they should have included just a little more for the fans. Just a little, yeah. Some surprise, some some yeah. hubbub. There needs to be. Give us a reason to be excited to think night two is going to be insane. If this happened in night one, right. night two is going to be insane. So I right. feel like I was underwhelmed yeah. night one. Um, Agreed. And I watch, and so I watched night two with an air of suspicion almost that I should not have had. I'm, I'm right. like <laughs> waiting for the other shoe to drop. And to say right. things haven't changed. This is the same predictable crap that it was five years ago. Like that's right. that's what night one did to me. Um right. I think the the biggest takeaway and the biggest joy from night one was them splitting the tag titles yes. properly. Yes. That is that is like the 
if I could have had one request from night one, that would have been the one request, and that request was granted. So, yep. win, 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 win. I agree. I agree. I think uh, Grayson and Theory getting the SmackDown belts. I was like, that should have been DIY. Other than that, I agree. Yeah. I think it was a one match card. It was it was the tag match at the end. Uh, really, I think including the Gunther Sammy match, which I was, I had some hopes for, I, I did not like or care for any of the did, matches that were I presented. I did like in a strong Gunther way. Sammy. So, I forgot that was night yeah. one. I, yeah. that was a big, I, but I also thought they could have, they could have worked in the Rocky theme, uh, right. more. They could have pressed into yeah. it more. They didn't. Yeah. I don't know why. Uh, even to where the Raw after Mania, Sammy came out with a shirt like right. um, of his wife's name. I can't remember her name. Yeah. Like Persephone or something like that. But it was like the same quote of like, hey, Adrian, I did, did it. see or something like that. Yeah. Could so, so or... yeah. yeah. Um, I and And so like, obviously, there was a Rocky parallel so much so right. that he wanted his merch to reflect that. And yet when he won the title... They should have hit the Rocky saw dun da da dun da da dun da da dun Philly would have Philly would have needed the dude Philly wipes if they would have right. that would have happened. The dude wipes. <laughs> they would have needed the dude wipes because they would have wow. crapped their pants if that music wow. hit when Sammy raised that title. Um awesome. side note, did you hear uh, did you hear um McAfee say uh, uh he said dirty dom looks like a used dude wipe? He said that on Raw. <laughs> He looks like yeah. a dude wipe after you wipe. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. Wow. 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 The home wow. of the Philly other... cheesesteak should also be the capital of dude wipes, just for the record. Right. Those things go Jeez. hand in hand. <laughs> wow. Again. Wow. I so I didn't catch the Rocky, possibly because I've never seen a Rocky movie i didn't catch right. the rocky connections night one yeah. but i definitely thought it should have been chad gable and i i will admit i begrudged sammy for it i was like you're not chad oh. gable i don't really care about you being here it and, would have made more sense uh, if it was gable to be rocky because he would have yeah. been kind of the u.s champ versus right you know drago i um you know uh right dolph I lundgren's drago. character who's basically right. gunther i mean there was a lot of right. parallel and they were in philly the you know the where right. the setting of rocky takes place right. um that makes more hero. sense to me now and i appreciate yeah. that better now but sammy's from quebec that's not they didn't local. play into it yeah and, they didn't right they didn't play it they didn't play it the way they could have and that I think took away from a little bit of the pop. It could have been right. world class, blow the roof off pop if they would have done that. Right. Maybe there's Agreed. licensing right. Maybe they couldn't. You know, what if they could not play that song because We've of got the Rocky if... characters in our game, WWE champions? I'm just yeah, saying. But, but... And that's what I don't know. Is the is a license temp temporary? Do you only have yes. permission to use the license during? Yes, you know X amount of time. It, so yeah. maybe maybe the Rocky moniker is completely not licensable, or they couldn't get it, or they didn't it's something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, but they I, still I, could have played. They could have homaged it more. I mean, I guess I see sure. it now with him coming to the ring and him seeing KO. I did like you know transitioning tonight too. I liked how they used that to set up KO coming to the ring and seeing Sammy. Like I did this. Can you do it? And yeah, yeah. So my feelings on night one, uh, two out of 10 at best for me, but Whoa. night two, no. night two, two out, out of 10, 10, bro. 10 out of 10. People are saying I was, this is the uh, greatest WrestleMania of all time. How can night one 40, be a two out of 10? Night two, night how, two, I think can, saves how, the whole thing. But that lowers your score, your cumulative score. If you divide, right? And take the law of averages, right? So then you're down to like four out of 10 average score five wow i don't know if that's the math that math's right but maybe (laughs) (laughs) 
somewhere. If it's a t- yeah, ten and two, and you divide and say yeah, you know, divide by two. Ten it's and two is a twelve easy. out of twenty. So yeah, you're right. It's a five out of ten overall. I don't know. I it just night one was nothing for me. There was there was not. I mean the 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 match that had to happen was the tag match, and it it did exactly what it was supposed to do. I I thought great. That worked out perfectly. Uh, when was, I hoped when for was Seth night to lose one? Both, and he when did. was Damian Priest match? Night two. Night two. Yeah. Okay. Night two. Okay. I'm about to say because that was that, that was, was epic. That was epic. That was. They handled it so well. That's why I say yeah. everything. Night two. If night two was WrestleMania 40, I would say it's probably the top WrestleMania of all time. Uh, with night one included, it's maybe my third, maybe third, fourth. What about WrestleMania. the? What about the montage ending of The Rock coming out, Cena coming out, Undertaker coming out? Yeah, I don't. Did I love that or did I hate that? And I don't. I I, does that mean? Does Cody not have a clean win? That's where I'm just like, why did they need to do all of that? People loved it. People love the nostalgia. Oh yeah, and I'm going. I don't. Does this taint somehow his his championship run? And what? Why did Seth not get even in the ring? Like Roman shut that down. Was that how that was written? Where Seth wasn't even able to get in through the ropes before he gets nailed. Like right. Did you think Moxley was coming back? I did honestly when they started the shield thing. I was like, "Oh gosh, his contract might." I think it's up. Yeah. Oh no, what if he? Yeah. Oh, because I was hoping for something. It took a long time to, to get Seth on camera, too. Right. And That's why like, I oh, think was there a oh, botch? Oh. Did that moment get botched? Was he supposed to come know. down the corridor or the stairs, and he was in the bathroom? <laughs> That's why I'm like, did he miss? Did he miss his cue? He was using the dude wipes. Because he wasn't on camera at the right time. And then when he was oh. finally on camera, it was only in time for Robin to not even give him a chance to get in the ring. And I was like, oh, right. that was terrible. <laughs> why did they why yeah. did they why did he show up in the in the flak vest, in the boots with the dyed hair and just get whooped? Um, that uh, get absolutely whooped, and then you're like, "Is this the end of Seth Rollins? Like, what in the world? Like, that was bizarre. That was bizarre. Right? That can't be how it was written, right? I don't know. I maybe did he, um, did he snap both quads? Right. He came marching oh. out. <laughs> Well, what it did, though, was it gave Roman the moment where he could have hit Cody and won the match, but instead he couldn't let go of the vice of what Seth did to him all those years ago. So when he hit Seth, that was him choosing to lose. He He chose chose destruction. Revenge. He chose chose revenge revenge. instead of victory. And it was was his downfall. Same thing with, with, with Drew. Drew chose to let his obsession with punk um, be his downfall, right? And so we saw some really good, complicated storytelling, I thought. Absolutely. But I also thought Rollins... Cody night one, that was great. Sorry, go ahead. No, I don't don't know if it was great. Was it great? I liked it, but you said you saw Rollins. But was the tag match just junk? Was the tag match pretty junky? Did that go into your? I factor? told you, night one as a whole, two out of ten for me. Like I, I didn't like the, the only story match I would all. say on. I didn't like the Rock yeah. story, Mama Rhodes. I don't like any of it. The final I was, loss. I don't like. It. And I like that. Yeah. Um, I liked heel Rock. I just didn't. It was lame. It was pretty lame. Right. It was pretty. I think lame. if. If we could have moved the tag match from night one to night two and move Bailey versus EO from night two to night one, you would have the worst WrestleMania and the best WrestleMania back to back for me, for me. The worst WrestleMania was the Lawrence Taylor versus Bam Bam and the Undertaker <laughs> fake mask. I was at 10. Right. I think it was 10. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
terrible WrestleMania. Um, right. <laughs> what is Bailey? What is Bailey? Like, why did yeah. I not like the Bailey match? No, what or... is she? What, who is she? Oh, what is I don't this? Know. Yeah, exactly. I'm not invested. Now, now, um, I heard someone say she couldn't go back to side pony Bailey, huggable Bailey, because everything they're writing and saying is this is a new era, not oh. this is the old era, right? That We're not just sense. doing nostalgia. Now, main event aside, right? Um, was that the putting to bed of all of the old era? Was that why Undertaker had to come out? And was he, was he, did he somehow embody the spirit of the old era? Yeah. And then when the Absolutely. lights went out and he was gone, right? It's like, that's it. It's done. And the ring is clear. Mm. And it's just like, my son, mm -hmm. my son was like mind blown. Where did he go? Where's the Undertaker? <laughs> like Cody's holding up the belt and he's like, I still, right. I still want to know where's the Undertaker. Did he just, you know, did he disappear? And I'm like, right now you get it. This is, this is the Undertaker. This is what magic. he does to you. He makes you wonder. He's weird. Yeah. Um, right. But it, I, I, I wondered if that meant like, okay, the page has turned, you know, and not only that, Good. you have the then now forever, the new mm -hmm. opening montage, which is kind of celestial. It's in right. the stars. It's, a, it's Paul of X voice. Yeah. Narrating. Um, yeah. Whatever marketing wizard is behind this, they're being very, very, very intentional about the rebrand of the WWE. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Including I, I like that. superstars like Bailey. We don't know what yeah. she is. She's her, 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 her promo said role model again. Right. Um, her outfit gave nothing away. Her yeah. entrance gave nothing away other than she's an Egyptian goddess, I guess, queen, Cleopatra. Right. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It I, wasn't as cut I dry. like your parallel. That is like, I, I haven't heard anybody say that, but that is the symbolism of Undertaker closed the chapter. Like WrestleMania Night 2 was the crossing of the streams. This is the new there's your old now it's done like he can't bring i didn't back think the about rock. that but that's brilliant he can't keep bringing back the rock then if that's true he can't bring him back for wrestlemania or whatever secret item he put in cody's hand and like i just don't <laughs> i don't want to see it i don't care i don't oh. want to know what it was the pocket watch that his father concealed and the war right. or whatever i was just like i don't go don't do this don't do this oh don't do well, it you got you got a really good parallel in that uh that little soliloquy about night one so can i add one thing yeah, of course. to it my embodiment of night one is perfectly encapsulated in seth rollins's gear the entrance attire like that giant blue flower that was like, yeah. what the heck? It looked like a growth on like a, a donkey's butthole or something. Oh I don't gosh. know what it was, but that was WrestleMania night one. WrestleMania night two was the height of celebration. It was oh, just so, so good. I think, I think WrestleMania 40 will go down as one of the most important and probably one of the best wrestlemanias ever i think yeah and i think wrestlemania is never really that important of a show either so i mean really uh, yeah it's i don't know it's usually it's usually the reset it's usually a, a yeah. i don't I mean, like, culmination of a chapter yeah i mean it's never really it never really affects the future um listed yes i i agree uh, so, so yeah, there's something, there's something that we're going to have to kind of wade through and, and as it evolves, I, I don't want to ramble, but I just think like yeah. oftentimes mania feels like the, one of the least important shows.
of the year. Oh, but. interesting. I don't normally feel that. I like Rumble's the most important to me, but Mania is the culmination. So maybe it's because there, there's no more buildup. It's just the payoff that maybe. you know, boom, and then you you get night after Mania. Um, but yeah, I would say, I mean, yeah, Damian Priest cashing in, which we we uh, skimmed over, but my goodness, was that ever like so well done? Yeah. Like the whole CM Punk Drew thing, like that is my favorite thing happening right now. And I love it. Like, did you see the graphic that was like the champions going into and out of uh, WrestleMania? And it was like Roman Reigns, 1500 days, uh, Gunther over 660 days, this person, blah, 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 Drew McIntyre, five minutes. <laughs> oh, no. Like, that was so good. I so good. I didn't see it, but I love it. Huh. Yeah. Wow. What, what, what do you, do you think Drew's a real champ or is he just a filler? Is he a, well, inter, is he, he a, I mean, okay. Damien. You mean I Damien mean, or? I oh. meant to say Damien. The reason I said Drew is because with the booking in this Glasgow show, um, yeah. it's, it really feels like the build, at least I think, is for Drew to, capture the title there on right. his homeland um yeah so is damien gonna keep this belt a long time or is drew just gonna take it from him in a few months that was that was um, the, i think i answered accidentally the question i was asking yeah well <laughs> no but you led me to a thought i hadn't had before because i haven't thought about the fact that that uh clash at the castle is coming up so 100 percent i you know my head canon now is that Drew builds up towards class at the castle, beats Damien for it, and then CM Punk beats Drew for it at SummerSlam. That's the, I think that's mm. the pathway they're going for. And then they've got a, you know, because Drew needs to be on the chase. Like you know, it's great for him to win it, but he needs to be chasing. And he, if CM Punk has the title and CM Punk screwed him out of it somehow, that would be like, that would build Drew's journey. I like that. You know what the perfect role for CM Punk would be in my mind? would be money in the hmm. bank uh briefcase holder oh wow like, that would that would give me so much hope to watch the show um priest i mean right his cash in took forever but i think if punk had it and i'd be thinking like oh man it's tonight the night like i think he would really ham it up and do a great right. job and he would be a a villainous you know, uh, it would continue to build. He would just haunt people with the briefcase. I would love it. I would nice. love, love, love that. Ooh. What if Drew? What if Drew wins Money in the Bank? <laughs> I don't like Drew at all. I don't want. I don't want. Like <laughs> Drew and Rollins can be a tag team on on. I don't know NXT uh, Fast Lane. What is that show called now? The Twitter only show. The Level X. Up. Oh, Speed. <laughs> they can go to Speed and just do their thing there where i don't see it i don't know That's do funny. i care why do i care about drew you know like what makes me care about drew at all hmm. is there anything hmm. I, I mean if you ask i mean it doesn't seem to be because uh, like i'm watching and i think drew is probably number one or number two like in terms of my who am i excited to see like maybe Cody, but definitely Drew. But but it's probably Cody, right? Like Cody's the one that I want to see, but Drew's the one that every time he's on, I'm like, this is gonna steal the show again. I'm excited about it. That's crazy, so. bro. That's crazy. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I mean, you're entitled to your enjoyment of wrestling, and that's what kind of makes wrestling great, is that we don't all like the same thing. Um I just I I want to like Drew. I want to care. Just give me a reason to, you know, gotcha. like, like battle carrying cross for Scarlet or something like that. Do something, just <laughs> do something, just wild, bro. Do something that's right. going to make us care. Um, that's awesome. I don't know. Maybe he needs a valet to be interesting mm -hmm. again. We, we talked a lot that's about cool. valets. Like yeah. maybe he needs one. Maybe he needs he's a he's great on the mic, so it's not like he needs somebody talking for him, but he right. needs to give us a reason to care about him. 
Mm. And I don't mm. feel like I have that. Uh, Cause like his motivated by what is he motivated by with this dislike of CM Punk? Like what's the motivation? I, mean, I don't know that I even get it. Gotcha. CM Punk came back and immediately took spots in the company that other people were working towards. And he legitimately in real life stormed out angry when CM Punk came back. And so they're playing into it, or at least legitimately in real life, as far as we can tell, it's not, uh, not a work, but, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean, he, he legitimately hated the fact that CM Punk was coming back and, or they just really are playing the story long game, you know, very long game uh, because his reputation, you know, to everybody said, Oh, CM Punk's toxic. He's going to ruin the company. He's going to whatever. And Drew was the guy when everything else fell apart, he carried the company on his shoulders. He was the pandemic champion, which sucks for him, but he carried the company. I cared about the championship because he was the champion uh, and he never got his flowers and, and CM Punk comes back and takes the flowers out of the vase right away. And so, I mean, mm -hmm. I think it's legitimate. Like, I, I follow the story. I mean, I, I feel more invested in that story than like I say, most of them. And the fact that CM Punk screwed him over on the night after raw again, I was like, this is so good. <laughs> I loved it. I think I see like, is punk actually growing as a heel? If I like what he's doing more and more, the more he torments drew, the more I like it. That's what I'm like, right. is that the way a heel is supposed to work? Maybe I just like oh, the heel. Man. You know, in general. Right. So. Maybe you do. Well. All right. Well, we've probably talked things to death as we always do. Our April MLC kickoff show is coming to a close, but we'd love for you to, uh, of course, share this with your faction, maybe like us on um, whatever podcast app you use for audio podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're listening, on audio head over to youtube and give us a search wwe champions chat and you can find us and um lee why don't you take us out yeah well it was an honor to be a part of this conversation as it always is it's an honor to be in the community of uh, the champions mobile game the best wrestling game ever and uh we will see you guys on the next one which is friday night on the official channel and then back here next week for another podcast. Bye.